Hello again, this is Victor. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the process of maintaining our transcripts uh, within the reporting system here at KIS. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to access the object reports templates, um, and you're going to do that in system reports from the district office, and you're going to go to setup and object reports. What you're going to notice is a wide range of reports in the system. Uh, what I want to show you though is how you're going to make changes to our high school transcript. Uh, so if you look at the KIS high school transcript and select that as your item, you're going to see a wide range of things that we print on our transcript. Um, a lot of these are defined variables from data access tags, which is something you're going to need to look up within PowerSource. That being said, as we go through, you're going to notice that we have credit summary boxes, we have student information boxes, we've got a large amount of GPAs that we use and access doing database access tags. And we just want to make sure that all of our GPAs actually match what we are presenting to all of our students. Now as we go through and we create all of these items, we actually will list out headings for each term and each grade level. So we actually have separate transcript items that print for achievement based on each grade. So we've got a ninth grade box, a 10th grade box, 11th and 12th grade box. And so they will automatically sort themselves onto our transcript as we go. I would recommend not making as many changes as will be requested of you on the transcript uh, just to keep the consistency in design as much as you can so that if college recruiters see different transcripts, they're not going to freak out about what is there. Um, one thing you're going to want to check over very often, though, is that we are reporting the exact same GPA that we're using on all of our other information. So keep that in mind and make sure that that is what you are using everywhere you go. If you have any questions about the transcript or how to edit them, I'm going to reference you back to PowerSource and the object report um, documentation and cheat sheets that they have. Uh, feel free to reach out to me directly, but this is a very time intensive project, uh, so keep that in mind. If you have any questions, reach out or leave a comment on this video. Thanks.